A few days ago, we took a look at the DJI 04 Air Unit Pro, DJI's next generation FPV transmission system. And this thing seems to be very impressive, at least on paper. Well, today's the day we install this in one of our drones and see how it works. Now, initially I wanted to install this into a new build, but why would I do that when I have tons of drones on the wall? And that drone today will be the Mario 5. Now, this is a pretty good candidate for this O4 Air unit. This one actually has the O3 on board, so this shouldn't be much of a departure for what's already on here. Now, let's look at some of the parts here to make this whole thing work, at least in theory, we'll see if that actually pans out. Now, the biggest concern here with the O4 is this larger camera mount right here. Now, the VTX here is almost a similar size, and we have two options for mounting, so the VTX Technically, it shouldn't be too hard. We'll see about that. But the big thing here is this wider, bigger camera overall. DJ has made a new mounting point for this camera here, and it doesn't jive or work with the existing O3 camera. Sorry. So the biggest thing here is to get a mount to work with your existing drones. In this case, with the Speedy B, I did find some options here for this Mario 5. And the big thing here are these larger space holes here for the camera mount. Now, I found this thing on Thingiverse, and I'll leave a link down below where you can find this for yourself if you do have a SpeedyB Mario 5 of your own. Now, I did print this one here in TPU, only because we don't want a lot of vibration going to the camera. And also, the actual camera mount here, or the stands for the camera mount that connects to the frame. Now, I print this one here in PLA, it's a little bit stronger, only because this one here was made of a stronger material here. This is some kind of a steel or aluminum on here and I wanted the, the strongest material for that right here. You do have a left and a right part. Same for the actual dampened soft mount here for the camera, left and right. And that's crucial because you do want to soft mount this camera because the gyros are in here and that helps with stabilization and reduce vibration going to the image or the sensor overall. And we're just gonna dive into it, guys. The first thing here, I'm gonna move the propellers on here only because they're in the way. I want better access to the drone. All right, props are off. That's it. Um, I want to get the top plate off as well. All right, top plate's off. I can see the wire for the MIPI cable. They have it going under the ESC. It's a very clean build by uh, SpeedyB, no doubt about it. It's gonna be interesting if I can fit this in here with this heatsink. I don't think that's gonna work. In fact, it's not compatible for O3, I mean O4. So I think that's all gonna be gone. Well, the heat sink is actually mounted directly to the air unit. That's why it couldn't come out. So I guess we'll be using regular standoffs in this one or something. DJI O3 has to plug as well, the same plug as the O4. Just gonna unplug that. And the only thing holding this thing in place right now is the MIPI cable. I have access to the MIPI cable. I'm just gonna pry it off. There it is. All right, VTX is free finally, 03. That's cool. The VTX is now out. Time to get the camera out. It's connected via this MIPI cable right here in the back. And I'm gonna try to remove this whole thing here as one unit. That should take everything off, I hope so. And I think this whole thing should come off. Should it? Oh, it did actually, yeah. This whole thing is out. Here's the whole assembly right here. That's the whole camera assembly. It's all out as one piece. The left side, that goes right here. And that should go like this. A little something like this. So here we go. The front hair is almost together. So it's time to reinstall this camera into this front half here. Now it's time to use my TPU parts here. Left goes to left, right goes to right. So this one goes on this side. All right have the orientation correct. All right, sweet. All right, this camera here is now assembled. Time to just put it back into the drone here and see if that works. All right. All right, that's PLA so I can't tighten it too tight. All right, check this out. The front end is done. There's not much angle on this, but it is what it is. Let's do the back end and that's just, I say just, we just gotta put the VTX in here. While I have the space, before I install this, I'm just gonna plug the VTX into the flight controllers, the same harness. All right. Cool. All right, VTX is installed. 
I need to take off the top to install these antennas. I do have this TPU here printed out specifically for this. So this should work. There you go, one off. I'm just gonna fish them through here. Fish the other one through here. And there you go, we're gonna have some pretty cool antennas here once we're done. One's in. All right, second one's in. And let's see if this goes on. All right. This looks amazing. I think we're done here. I'm gonna put the top plate on. All right, this is kind of difficult. So I'm gonna remove these two screws. It's a pain in the butt. And then we're just gonna slide this over this action cam round. Let's see if this works. Now this is, uh, I'll do that last. <laughs> I'll do these two last because that's uh, PLA. All the others should lined up. It's looking good, looking good, looking like a drone again. Last thing is underneath, right? Receiver goes back in and it just slides in here. Straightforward. For mine at least, I did it this way so I can easily unplug it. There we go. We got two screws and it lines up. Okay, they both grabbed. That looks amazing. Drone is done. We're just gonna put these back in here, the antennas. Mario 504. Check out that, 04 camera. Look at that, that's sick. 04 camera, guys. Successfully converted our drone from 03 to 04. No soldering iron, everything is plug and play. You just need the tools to actually unscrew it. Mario 5 Dedicat 04. It looks pretty good. Tight, clean, 3D printed parts look pretty good. We'll see if there's any props in view, but there it is. All right, guys, this is in here. We'll have to activate this bind into my goggles. I've done a separate video showing you how to do that, and I'll leave a link right here so you can take a look at it. So let's go outside, take this photo site, and see how the camera looks.